Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a reading for Pisces. Welcome, Pisces. Hope you're doing well. So since this is a general reading, I'm not tuning into one person's specific energies. I'm tuning into the collective. So take what resonates and leave the rest. And um, not every reading will resonate. So use your discernment. Okay, Pisces, in the past, you were in the energy of solar plexus chakra. So solar plexus chakra is right where your ribs meet, below the heart chakra. Solar plexus chakra deals with uh, your personal power, your personal empowerment your power center so something in the past about your solar plexus chakra in the past it, it looks like um you got a, a um a boost in that solar plexus chakra because you put down some type of burdens something that was um a heavy load that you've been carrying for a long time and you put it down it, it feels like this energy was uh really draining you also what helps with that rejuvenated empowerment is in the past you got some type of new passionate idea um this feels like uh for some of you it could be a relationship uh for some of you it feels like um new inspiration an inspired idea to go in a different direction You might not have taken a lot of action on this idea, at least in the past. It, it looks like you got this, you put down these burdens. There was something that you were focusing on, uh, a new beginning. And it doesn't feel like you, you moved on that. It feels like there were some delays. Not quite sure if that's the direction to go. Maybe there's some more internal healing to do. Uh, maybe some insecurities around your personal power. Could I, you know, I put down some burdens. I'm exhausted from this. I'm depleted. I've got this new idea. I'm not quite sure which direction to take on it, even though it feels like you even realize that this can lead to a lot of emotional fulfillment. There's some really beautiful um, new beginning that has helped you, that helped you in the past really recover um, and bring back your own personal power. Maybe we'll understand more as about what this was in the past. I'm not getting any details. So maybe there's a lot of stories uh, in the collective and that they vary a lot. So in current energy, Pisces, you are in the energy of three of wands in reverse. Partnerships and alliances. So not, oh, just jumped out, not working with others. It feels like you're working on your own. This could be about also a, a breakup, whether you're breaking up with someone at work, like leaving work, 
leaving a relationship, some type of disconnect in present energy. And by disconnecting from this energy, it feels like um, as a result of you severing some ties, you are now able to sleep really well. It, it looks like your sleep has improved. You might be getting better sleep than you have in a long time. And you're also able, it feels like this energy, maybe the burden was a, a connection. And uh, you release that connection and either had a new inspired idea or new relationship even though it, it it didn't feel like it took off right away, you, you know on some level that this is going to lead to your fulfillment, emotional satisfaction. And in current energy, there's something more like you either, I mean, it feels like a disconnect in the past, but then another one in present energy, maybe this is... Um, someone more um maybe this the past one is someone that you were in a connection with and the present energy is someone from the past a longer connection maybe lifelong connection something um getting to it feels like you're getting to the root cause And, and letting go of connections that don't serve you. And as a result, they're sleeping better and this ability to focus on your skills, focus on your business. I mean, there's just this focus. It's It feels like it's freed you to not have split energy. nice. Ooh. With this business, the skill that you're working on, it feels like um, your vibration raised or is raising, like without the split energy, without toxic connections, you're reaping the benefits pretty quickly from just very basic sleep issues, resolving themselves, focus, being able to focus on uh, where you want to take your life, what you're interested in. It looks like you have leveled up. You are in charge of your emotions. You are grounded, you are creative. And it looks like you are attracting um, very similar type of energies like a new type of collaboration. So we've got at the beginning of the present energy, there's feels like a breakup, but then you start feeling a lot better immediately. Results from leaving that energy behind, getting to work and then collaborating with someone who's on your level. I mean, you've leveled up and you're, you're working with others who are uh, powerhouses comes to mind. That looks really good. It's amazing. It feels very co-creative. It feels um, there's a lack of competition. So you, you both want to see each other do well, you're both supporting each other. You're both on an equal keel. And yet you're both different enough that um, somehow you, you're not stepping on each other's toes. So that is an, a beautiful story in present time. So, all right, Pisces, uh, in the center of your reading is uh, disruption. This is the tower. Your higher self is noting that there's a, a tower What's the tower for Pisces?
Okay. Um, okay, I'm reading this um, two different ways. This tower is a like a fated event. It's something um, destined. It takes you by surprise. I feel like it, it doesn't feel like a, a horrible tower. It feels like um, seeing things very clearly. There's something, even though this tower is happening or imminent or somewhere in your energy, it feels like you weather it really well. Like it doesn't completely, I mean, you'll feel it, but you stay very solid. It doesn't put you off into a, a tailspin. You feel very emotionally solid. And it is about, it is around, it has something to do with a toxic couple. Um, this could be an ex and their current person. They're, uh, they're both very toxic. If this is an ex or whoever this you were most af attached to, affiliated with, connected with, someone who was a liar, who was a manipulator, someone who, um, I don't think they would know the truth if it hit them. Like they really don't understand um, the difference between telling the truth and a lie, lies of omissions, half truths. Um, this is someone who is not emotionally stable. And so it's, it has to do with the tower. This is what the disruption is about, about this couple. And it feels like this person who's the liar, who you are more likely that I'm reading to be connected with that they they're attached to someone who um says that someone who's pretender someone who pretends to be independent and confident and someone who pretends to be like you that's what I'm reading someone who pretends to be like you but they're not it's a facade someone who is not abundant Yeah, it feels like they're together. There's some news, something that, what comes out about, what is it around? Okay, the this caught my eye. The devil, as I was shuffling. Feels like you've detached from this energy of this couple. More clarification about the tower and this couple. Okay, this this tower is good news. This is bringing you good news, but I think it's going to blow your mind. Something is very public, which is giving you a victory. that's coming out about, I think it blows your mind. That's why, so it's not like a horrible tower. It's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But it's something about this couple. I don't know. Yeah, all I'm getting is how good things are going for you. Maybe that's part of it. Uh, as your energy rises, you are, you in the past, let go of burdens, whatever this is, 
whether this is a, a connection or whatever was burdening you, you let go. You are empowered in this reading. And then recently, currently, you're letting go of some connection, some partnership. And as soon as you let go, you sleep better, you can focus, you start collaborating, your energy just rises. And I, so I feel like this is a story of empowerment. I feel like on some level that this couple, this toxic couple can sense that you are coming into your own power, that you're collaborating with others, that you're having a very public win, a very public victory. You are able to manage difficulties. You, there was some type of, while this is going on, some financial instability that you were able to manage. There we go. Okay, this is about karma. This is justice being played out. Something about this couple this could be an ex or someone you were connected with, the liar, manipulator, someone right now currently does not feel like their vibration is very high. It feels like they're um, might be emotionally a little unstable. Since you've disconnected from this energy and others and have had this huge glow up, your energy is just... There's a balance, a, a universal balance that's happening. And um, as you're on the rise there, the, the balance is coming back. It feels like um, with the deception, the lies, the emotional manipulation, mental manipulation, Maybe they were one of these connections, these burdens or breakups. And um, you just focused on you and moved forward. And now karma is getting them. That's what I'm reading. I'm not sure. Sometimes when I tune in, it feels like a relationship. And other times it's it feels like it could be... Um, different type of disconnects and this could even be a boss uh, or a friendship so so curious if this resonates if uh, what your story is so the challenge right now is seven of cups choose wisely what does Pisces need to choose wisely clarifying Choose wisely. Okay. Okay, there's a couple stories coming in with this as well. So choose wisely. When this tower hits, you're, I, I get this feeling like you're going to be elated, like so happy that justice is served, that the scales are balanced. Feels like you've wanted this, like you never expected. Somehow by releasing things that are toxic in your environment, raise your vibration. And so the universe is helping uh, not helping it's just balancing the scales you have a lot of options when this happens your challenge is to to not gloat to not ah! <laughs> um, to not um, go like ruin your own oh to be a, a good winner being not being a sore winner, being a really good sport about it. 
to not relish some type of, um, there's something about um, not doing a victory dance on other people's suffering. Um, they are, it looks like getting karma and um, yeah, so being a good sport, you know, don't, because uh, it feels like if you tune back into this energy too much, you'll go back down into that lower vibration. So by not doing that, by just wishing everybody well and stay focused on whatever this is that you're working on that's bringing in so many people that are collaborating with you and just enjoying the public victory feels like you really deserve this public victory whatever this is related to and it brings you so much satisfaction so much fulfillment it feels like you take 10 to 15 years off your age because you just you feel so less burdened and so youthful and young and joyful passionate abundant the truth oh there's something about the the light of truth coming out maybe about these lies just allow the universe to uh, let it unfold wow this feels so positive and lovely and i'm so excited for you if this has happened or uh when it happens let me know what the story is this is um very exciting and i'm very excited for you so all right pisces that's your reading thank you so much uh if you resonated with this don't forget to like uh and subscribe. And I love any comments that you share. So, all right, take care. Bye.